What is going on, everybody? We escaped the sweep this afternoon, thank God, against the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, yesterday, I didn't get a chance to upload a video. I was at the Kenny Chesney concert across the street at the Lincoln Financial Field where Carson Wentz, Doug P., the Super Bowl trophy, were there on stage with Kenny Chesney. It was awesome, but I did not get a chance to record an episode for yesterday's game. We lose. It was bad. Reese Hoskins comes off the DL, though. Hits a three-run shot, which is nice to see, but other than that, another embarrassing night. So the first two games were very, very embarrassing, which moves us on to today and this afternoon's game. We win 4-3. to three. We find a way to escape the sweep, but the way we played against this Brewer squad throughout the three-game series wasn't cool to me, and it showed me that we are lacking some things to be able to compete with legitimate squads in this league. So, to start off, we do score in the bottom of the first inning and take a one to nothing lead thanks to Reese Hoskins, and this is big because in the last two games in this series, we were getting rocked in the first inning and letting them put up runs. So now we do the damage in the bottom of the first, which is great to see and a good start, and especially for Reese Hoskins, who was coming off the DL. Bottom of the fifth, they score a few runs. They score two. One of them was with a bases-loaded walk by Eflin, which isn't awesome at all. But we respond with a walk with bases loaded in the next inning to tie the game back up 2-2 two to do, two to two as Cesar Hernandez walks. Same inning, Reese Hoskins, he flies out to, to deep center field, and that scores a run with a tag up. So now we're taking the, the lead 3-2. to two. In the same inning, Odubel Herrera, he grounds into a fielder's choice. That scores a run 4-2. to two. We are now leading. Top of the eighth, Ryan Braun singles to center. 4-3, to three, but that's okay because the ball game ends there. Now, now let's take a look at Zach Eflin on the mound. Six innings pitched, three hits, two earned runs, nine strikeouts and 94 pitches. Sir Anthony Dominguez comes in for two innings. He does his thing. And then Garcia and Tommy Hunter, they, they do their thing as well. So we do find a way to not get swept but I'm not loving the way this squad has been playing. I'm not. It's concerning to me. It is. We're now three and a half games back for the division. I don't have hope to move forward with the division. And at this point, these games are really, really ugly. To I might even be considering instead of... It depends how it goes. If we're just getting crushed and it's, it's bad, bad baseball, I'm not going to make an episode every day about how pathetic we are and just keep talking about the same things. I might switch to discussing games every series and going off the series and talking about it like that, it just depends. Because if it starts to get really ugly, I'm not going to come on every day and be like, we can't hit. We suck at defense. Because let's be real, there was another run situation that happened today because of a bad shift. So this is concerning to me, that we see these shifts happening, we see these runs scoring based off bad shifts, and we're doing nothing about it. Nothing. But how many times can I talk about it? Because it's happening every game. So am I just going to keep coming on here and say, yup, another shift. Yup, another run. Yep. Like, how often am I going to keep doing this? Granted, we win this game today, and now we're 33 and 30. But I just, you know, I'm at that point now with this team where I see it dropping off. I mean, it's, it's the truth, though. I mean, it's things are starting to settle in now. Now we're 63 games into the season, and we see where it's going. We can hit. Our defense is trash. Our team defense is garbage. How long can we keep it up winning games? How long? Looking at some stat lines, like I said, Reese Hoskins, he went 0 for 3 today, but he had two RBIs. Productive ABs, you'd say. Cesar Hernandez, one walk, one RBI, one run. He went 1 for 3. JP Crawford, 2 for 4. How about that? Having himself a nice little day. And we win. We win with four hits, though. Four. So what does that say? It says we can't hit the baseball. Can't hit the baseball. And it's it's starting to really show itself. It is what it is. So we don't get swept. We win today's ball game. We have a day off tomorrow before the Colorado Rockies come into town. Another good team. So we're going to see how it works. I'm just, I really hope this team finds a way to get out of it. And I hope we start realizing that we need to change things up defensively because it's not working. The shifts aren't working. We had a, a top player in this league pretty much rant to the media saying it's not working, Jake Arietta. So why is nobody listening? I don't know. I don't know. 
With that being said, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, comment down below your thoughts and opinions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time.